The Grand Parkway in Fort Bend County is a vital corridor for people living in areas like Greatwood, New Territory, and Pecan Grove. But this new section of Toll Road has been the scene of several deadly accidents over the past 14 months. Channel 2 Investigates noticed that trend and began digging through crash records. Our investigator Joel Eisenbaum examined the roadway from the air and on the ground. Tonight he's revealing potential dangers along that stretch of road and he's taking those concerns to the tollway's top leaders. Look at that over there. What is it? Whether you know it as 99 or the Grand Parkway, Channel 2 Investigates has discovered that part of it has a big problem. Why are we not taking any looks at this stuff? On this 12 and a half mile meandering stretch of road, between Highway 59 on one end and the West Park Tollway on the other end. There are a lot of accidents. We do have a lot of accidents. In fact, in and around Houston, we challenge you to find a deadlier dozen miles. Nine fatal accidents here over just the last 14 months. It raises questions about the highway itself. I think that they opened it as a tollway with 65 mile an hour speed zone prematurely. James Barthlamy is an accident reconstructionist. He says this section of toll road, the old 99, wasn't originally designed to be a toll road at all. This section of the Grand Parkway opened unfinished, and it stayed that way. This part of the Grand Parkway is just kind of weird. We're just south of Bel Air, where you're flying down the highway at highway speeds, but now the road is suddenly curved on each side. Just down the way, there's a sweeping curve you have to contend with. It's when you're high up in the air, you realize you're traveling freeway speeds on the feeder road. What we're looking at is Grand Parkway frontage road that's being used as main lanes. It is right now. Last year, there were two separate fatal accidents in this area. Drunk drivers caused those wrecks. But in three other deadly accidents not involving alcohol, drivers ran off the road in sections with little or no guardrail. If this would have happened at between 11 and 12 o'clock, it would have been catastrophic. This big rig managed to cross the median and opposite lanes of traffic before ending up inside a restaurant. Then just two miles south and four months later. That was, uh, I mean, something no parent wants to hear. <sighs> she was such a presence. 19-year-old Brittany Reddington was on her way home from work when her car inexplicably left the road. 570 feet later, at more than 70 miles per hour, she slammed into this concrete sign support. There was no intoxication. Her mom will never know if a continuous guardrail or barrier, a common feature on most modern toll roads, would have saved Brittany's life. I don't think she would have hit the pillar. I don't think her car would have split open. Brittany Reddington was the second person to die after hitting one of these concrete pillars. Many of these signs are not protected by guardrails and not required to be. Add it all up. The twists and turns, the varying pavement, cars constantly exiting and entering to avoid tolls. Does it equal trouble? You have so many different elements coming together. Do you think that it's causing a problem? If, if there's some reason that it's causing a problem, we can't identify the common reason. The Grand Parkway in this area has no scheduled completion date, but the chief of the Fort Bend County Toll Road Authority is taking action. We've got more about his plan on click2houston.com. Click the Investigates tab. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.